Hi, my name is Kelly Smith, and I am the author of Jane in the Jungle, a bold feminine leadership model for the new millennium. I'm going to be telling you a little bit today about the metaphor Jane in the Jungle and how it came to be. The story is actually in the book, but I'd like to share it with you. If you've not read the book yet, you get the story first, and then maybe you'll want to read the book. I was working with a company as a contract speaker and trainer and traveling all over the United States speaking mostly at women's conferences when Jane in the Jungle was born. And I was also attending National Speakers Association here in Houston, Texas to the local chapter. One Saturday I went to a meeting and there was a gentleman there named Mark LeBlanc who was speaking as an expert on branding speakers and authors and had a technique for branding that I used the following week. So I am driving through Houston, Texas. This weather is beautiful. There are trees, we call it the cement jungle, by the way, many of us do. It's just beautiful day, beautiful day. And I'm doing this technique or technology that this gentleman, Mark LeBlanc, had presented. And it didn't take but one day before, as I'm driving through this cement jungle, I, what comes to me is Jane in the jungle. It's Jane in the jungle. I got super excited and I started practicing my Jane call, which I will share with you now. And then I got on the email and emailed this gentleman and said, Oh my God, I figured it out. I figured it out. And we got on the phone and I shared with him Jane in the Jungle. And he liked it right away and said, well, tell me more. So then I got into the metaphor of Jane in the Jungle. Jane in the Jungle is the empowered woman or girl who is swinging through the jungle on the vines and is out to empower everyone she swings into contact with and is from time to time falling off the vines. She's aware of this, you know, bottom dwelling earth plane of survival, the lions, the bears, the tigers, the snakes. Um, but her journey is to swing from the vines and swing high up in the spiritual realms of the jungle. So pretty quickly she grabs a vine and back up she goes. Now, the Jane in the Jungle metaphor he liked. And one of the first things I will never forget that came out of his mouth was, you know what? If you have the courage to do this thing, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be giving women the permission to think big and play big. Guess what became the cornerstone philosophy in the jungle? That's right. Think big, play big. It is um, the second philosophy in the book. So when I wrote the book, I wrote the book around the four philosophies in the jungle. And the order that I put them in is not necessarily the order that they are, because they are so not linear. <laughs> they are so work in and out within each other. There's an aspect of each of them within each one of them, if that makes sense. Um, but the order that I put, chose to put them in the book, because I had to, is know thyself is the first philosophy. The second philosophy in the book is think big, play big. And the third philosophy is silence the inner critic. And then the final and fourth philosophy is thrive on support. And so the whole book is based on this metaphor of Jane in the jungle and is really um, about what I have been studying and practicing for my entire adult life. And so I am now ready to share it with the world. And it's in a book and I figure it's just a matter of time. What I'd like to do is I'd like to invite you, if you haven't already read the book, 
to read it. Or if you know someone who, a woman who you think of when you hear me talk about the book, it's a great gift for that woman, perhaps, or your daughter. And so I invite you to check out my book on Amazon. Just to let you know, the first week that it was published on Amazon, it went number one in women's spiritual studies. Oh, I'm sorry, in women's spirituality. And it went number three in women's studies. So until next time, welcome to the jungle. <laughs>